What's the matter, Ed? I'm a failure, Anna. What are you talking about? I failed the electric test. No. Welcome back to another vlog, everyone. Yeah, that's right. I failed the electric tests here at Villeneuve. It's pretty serious, really, because without the electric certificate, we can't actually sell the property. Thankfully, the, uh, the actual build, as in the extensions and everything, I've got my paperwork through on that. So the Mary have accepted everything I've done as being as per the plan. So we're big step closer to being finished finished. But this problem with the electrics could scupper everything. Let's go and have a look. I was really impressed when I did my electric board here. Everything's nice and neat, lined up. I've put these little kind of clips on the end to stop anybody getting electrocuted if they take the board off. Everything is perfect as it should be, except one thing. And that is these disjunctor differential. Um, they're called different things in different languages um, around the world. But yeah, basically these have type AC and this one here should have been a type A because it has a washing machine on it. And so I don't want to go into too much technical detail, but basically I got the wrong one here. That should be an easy fix, but then we're going to go and have a look at the other fix. So let's get on with getting this right and then we'll move on. Of course, I'm, this isn't a tutorial on how to do electric, so you can by all means watch this, but you know, don't follow my lead because I quite clearly failed a console, so there's no point following my lead. I got it all wrong. But it's not just that. If it was like on how to, I would have learned to do electrics by now, but I'm still useless. Okay, so turning all the electrics, the whole house off just in case. Last thing you want is to touch one of these boards without turning the electrics off. This is a special screwdriver, by the way. It's a Phillips head with an extra kind of thing, like two prongs on it. What it does is it tightens these screws, special screws on the board up to the max. Mm. So. I'll come close so I can show everyone exactly what you're doing. Here's something I can say about electrics. These different disjunctor differential, the cables, the uh, kind of input of the electrics come into the bottom of these, but then they go out the top. And so all these other little breakers have the electricity along the top and then the electricity comes out the bottom as such. Oh. That makes sense. You lost me again, but I'm sure it does make sense. It's very therapeutic watching you work here. I've got my uh, fingers blocking up on me already. I've only done a couple of screws. Maybe I could help with that. It's such an easy fix, this one. And I'm not even sure that the console are actually going to come back and check everything. I have to, um, I have to sign a document. If they don't come back, I have to sign a document the honour that I will do the work necessary to deemed to make it safe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but you do that, I mean, if you say you're doing something, knowing you, I know you would do it and you do it perfectly. Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah, the thing is, the emphasis is on me because, <laughs> you know, if I don't do it and I sell the place, well, we sell a place to somebody, 
Um, but, and, you know, you'd be stupid not to do it because if there was a problem, it lands on you. So I will be taking photos just to prove that I did change things. Yeah, so there we go, that one's off. Okay, and now we put in a new one? Yeah. Well, you are putting a new one. You know where that one's going? No. Nope. You don't know? Uh, well, I don't know. Bordeaux Bastide. Oh, yes. yes. So it's not lost. We will no. be using it. So... I have to make sure that I get that neutral cable right in because it's being a bit awkward not going in properly. So when I ordered the new disjuncta differential, mm -hmm. I ordered one that didn't have to screw in up top. Oh. How lazy is that? Well, no, it's clever because I wouldn't have done that. And I put the board on, yes. So somebody was saying we need to put like a little cabinet in front of this. Great idea. Like an old armoire front maybe or something. Yeah, that is a good idea. And I will tell whoever buys this place to do that. <laughs> but I'm a, I'm a bit lazy now, I've had enough. No, you're not lazy, it's just been a lot of work. And this is the last kick in the teeth. Oh, yeah. It's okay, you'll learn. Plus it's not going to be wasted. Yeah, the thing is, I knew this one and I just didn't think about it. Oh. I know. But the next, the next problem we're moving on to in a minute I didn't know about. Well, again, it was, it's logical, but I didn't, I hadn't done it before, so. Yeah. We'll show you. It's good that you're doing something new every time. Yep, I'm learning more and more electrics as I go. Okay, so that's in. He must have touched my board a bit, actually. How he touched your board? How, how dare, dare he, he touch my board? How dare he touch your board? I don't know how you're going to live with yourself then. Yeah. You see, I could have just popped it all back and forgotten about the spacing on these and the fact that they have to poke through. But it's good that they check, in a way. Yeah, it's perfect for us because otherwise we'd have to pay an electrician to do all this work. Yeah. Um, this place we'd have probably been into about 10,000, I think. All right, but then you know how to do it, which is great because I haven't got a clue. Okay, there we go. I heard the electric ding. So that can go on. That can go on. I'd flick to load down by accident. So basically, because the Consuel's not signed it off yet, we can't up the connection. Oh. So I'm having to keep all the hot water tanks off. Which is a good thing anyway, because we're not here using them. But, no. uh, but, but yeah, there we go. Job one, done. Let's move on to the harder job, job two. The second problem I am kind of kicking myself about because I kind of knew um, that it would be a problem, but I didn't think about it. Basically, when you're in a bathroom in France doing electrics, um, you've got a plugs that have got to be a certain height away from taps and things like that. 
light bulbs that are 12 volts within a certain volume and other light bulbs can be normal in a certain volume too. I'm not going into detail because I don't want people quoting me in France and then getting it wrong and somebody getting injured or whatever. But basically, as soon as the guy came outside from the console that's going to check everything, I figured it out and he said, what are those lights? And then I realized, I was like, oops. Basically, it's kind of really, really high-end security measures as such, but there is a volume within the edge of the pool where you're not allowed to have uh, normal lights. So within a certain volume, it has to be type two um, uh, earthing, and then within a closer volume again, it has to be 12 volt lighting. And my lighting is not type two and it's not 12 volt. Um, so basically all of these 11 lights around the pool are wrong. Um, and the guy was saying, yeah, you need to change them to a different light fitting that's 12 volts or within uh, this category of uh, earthing on the lights. Uh, thankfully, I went to my, see my friends at Zeik Kadajak. Um, not a plug, but a little bit of a plug. And they, one of my friends there, Pascal, said, why don't you just change the bulbs and put a, a transformer on at your light switch? Because he, he knew about my, uh, my transformer I've already got for the bulbs in the pool. So he saved me hours of work. And uh, basically, it's gone from being a real headache to a real easy job. So let's see if I... If my memory serves me correctly, I think we can just unscrew the tops of these. So this bulb here is 230. Mm -hmm. So that's too big. Right? 230 volt, yeah, it's dangerous because it's too near the pool. So we're going to put in a 12 volt bulb, but when we put in a 12 volt bulb, we have to have 12 volts, not 230, otherwise it just goes bang, and then that's it, none, more, none left. So. Anna, because yes. everybody loves seeing a little bit of Anna on TV. Wow. Come on. What am I going to do? Am I going to unscrew the thing? Yeah. Oh, you, you, you're giving me this task, Ed. This, yeah. Is it because I chose these lights? Well, it's because, yeah, you chose the light. So uh, it's my fault. I got it wrong, and I can't believe there's so much uh, dampness in those lights. Yeah. Okay. You just uh, screw, unscrew. Uh huh. I'm going to have to follow you now. Look at that electrician in the making. Yeah. Okay. Every single one. Yeah. This is not as easy as it looks. There we go. Okay. Yeah. And one more. How does it feel being back, Anna? Well, it feels really nice being back, Ed. It's nice to see it in summer and to see it finished in summer, actually. Can you see Louis's uh, hammock in the background? I can actually. I can just imagine him lying there. It must be really peaceful and nice. Till the dog comes along. Yeah, but it's a little cutie. I'm trying to think how many, there's a lot of these. Yeah. So, are you going to tell everyone what we've been having a problem with in the pool? Uh, yes, I think we, sh we should tell everyone because I think this has been the year of, I don't know, it's been a very green year. I don't know what else to say. It. It's mm. been a hot, very, very hot summer. And today, luckily, it's overcast, but we're having problems with algae in the pool. And you have gone to get the pretty much the right product several times, but it keeps on coming back. And I don't know whether every, well, anyone else is having the same problem back at home and with their pools. And if yes, what are they using to treat it? Because we've tried everything. Well, I've, no, I've tried, well, normally you mm -hmm. try once. It's yeah. a special algae. It's mm -hmm. called mustard algae. Let's continue with the lights. Mustard algae. Mm -hmm. And uh, I put the product in once, the pH is correct, put some shock 
chlorine in and put loads of the product in. And you know what? It's still there. It keeps coming yeah, back. Keeps coming. I think we're just going to have to treat it a third time. It's, we've done it once, we've done it twice, so we'll have to do it a third time. But I think this year has been really bad for pollen, like allergies, because yeah. I've been every time, like with the trees, I keep on getting like really stuffy nose. So I think if that, all of that goes in the pool, then that doesn't help. There's a lot of light. Look at the beautiful gate in the background, Anna. It is a little cute, isn't it? I like it. Cut the electrics for the time being. I'm just going to look at this. It's a 70 watt. I have a bit of a problem, Anna. Oh. I'm going to have to get a bigger box. Okay. But, but what I want to do is I want to get it on so I know that it's working and I can just pop back and put a different box on. Okay. Um, so I have to fit, figure out now. I need my other. There. So yeah, I have to get the right cable that's coming down here. In fact, I'm... I know how I can do it. Let's pop that off. I'm going to call you MacGyver from now on. Well, I think I put this tape on here for the uh, live coming in, but I'm going to go and put the electrics back on and just test. I've got my little sneaky pen. It basically, it tells me where I've got electricity. And I was pretty sure that that was the supply. I've got a double switch here. So this one here turns the exterior light on and off. And this one here is the one I want to tap into. So let's... This is the cable I need to change from 230 to 12 volts. So I pulled it out, turned the electricity back off, pop that on, and we should be on our way. I'm wondering if we can pop that now. It's never going to fit, is it? Never mind. Okay, so. So it's this cable here. That 
all back together then. I'm just going to get this box off because it's not big enough anyway and uh, I can pop another box on after. So, I'm going to need a new box down here that can fit this in, but I want to get testing, make sure it works, so that all I need to do when I come back is put a box on. So basically it's a bit like a plug, you power in and, and where the plug would be, you power out, so it should be quite easy. Neutral goes over here, put that in. So we've got 2.30 coming in, which is dangerous around a pool. Now I know. Well, yeah, you didn't know, otherwise you would have not put that one. Well, I knew, but I thought it was far enough away. <sighs> and what is the limit then? I don't want to go there because if I say the limit and somebody, it changes in the next few years or... Oh, yes. Fair enough. I'm in trouble if somebody gets it wrong. But the volumes are bigger on a pool than around, you know, a bath. But for me, a bath is, a pool's just a big bath. But anyway, that's fine. That's the way of doing it. And I prefer to be over than under, put it that way. You get it wrong yeah. and somebody hurts themselves, you don't want to be in no, trouble. No, 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 better too much than that, you know. Okay, so that's my power in. And then these three cables here, which I've cut fairly short, I don't seem to have a place for the earth to go, but anyway, we'll figure that out. I might have to might have to get another little bit of gable now and put my earth into that earth because there's no earth on this side because it's just uh, DC volts out. Oh. And it's 12 volt DC. So there we go. We have, when the light switch is turned, we have 230 coming in here, change to 12 volts, go into the pool area. So, before I put all that switch back and the screws back in, I think it might be worth uh, checking that it works, Anna. I'm going to go put the electric on. It's working, Ed. Yep. And looking down at the transformer, I can see a little green light. Oh, that's nice. And because it's only 12 volts, you can do the honours, Anna, and just screw it in, and the light should come on in your hands. Oh, and nice. You're not, you're not and risking anything. And I'll, I'll, I'll feel like Thomas Edison. Yeah. Look at that. The be oh. So, nice. the 12 volt bulb is working with the 12 volt transformer. transformer. I, I, I understood that part. No, but that means we've done it, Anna. Oh, okay, that's good. So that means I can, do I put this back on? Yep. Nice. Oh. Go on. Ça rentre pas. <gasps> oh no. <laughs> you... <laughs> I was going to call you a dummy. I don't know whether I should. It's not really my fault. They're standard. Okay. Let me well, come and have a look at that. See if I can give a bit of gentle persuasion or not. I'm not, I'm not going to try it. I don't want to break anything. I prefer you to break it because I don't want to get it wrong. Come on then. Okay, look, it's got the hat on.
I don't believe that. <laughs> Typical of our luck, that, Anna. Well, all we have to do now, then, is get some different size 12 volt bulbs, put that little box on through there, and uh, that's it. That's all that the Consuel found. Of course, they were very important um, problems because you wouldn't have that breaker uh, for, uh, for no reason. And of course, you don't want 230 around, volts around a pool. So yeah, very important things, very small things, and thankfully so quick to fix. On that note, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give us a thumbs up. And if you've not already subscribed, please do subscribe. We've got that new project coming up in the next month or so, and it's gonna be really interesting. See you all next week, guys. See you soon.